um, when I was coming up for my um, 3,000 hours. In it. And it would have had a period of bad weather. We'd been waiting to go. There was one aircraft serviceable as, as long with the Q aircraft. And the boss said, well, Roy, get airborne. The tanker's going to get airborne. How long? How many do you need? I, I, I needed about two hours and 40. Right, fly for two hours and 50 minutes. Get your 3,000 hours. Because I was going home in a couple of days. Right, so we did that. Did some intercepts with the the uh, VC-10, flew around a bit, saw the Islanders, then were coming home. Um, so I'd got my 3,000 hours and uh, nice. my nav, as we're running in towards the airfield, said, uh, right, that's us going through 500 feet and that's my last height check. I know what you say, because you don't see any more. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm flying on the Radalt. I also had the, ma- the, the, the HUD set up for Mach, the as opposed to knots, because I wanted to see exactly how close to the speed of sound I was. And uh, I lined myself up up over the squadron coming out. I could see the boys were up on the the, the banking around the squadron buildings, seeing us coming in. And uh, this is where it went wrong, because I wasn't paying attention. And I was looking at my height, and I was looking at my lineup. What I wasn't looking at was my speed. And as right. I came in, I'd left the burners in just a shade too long. And as I went across the boundary, it was my 1.01. <laughs> and I went, <laughs> pulled the throttle back and thought, don't pull, because if there's any shock wave that hasn't detached yet, pulling, I'm going to put it to the back of the aircraft. It'll mm-hmm. drop off, so there'll be a boom. So I just pulled the throttle back and let the aircraft just rise up. And then we broke into the circuit. Wow. And I went, Damn, damn, damn. So I called downwind, air traffic were talking to me. I thought, well, that's a start. They're not screaming and shouting. Yeah. So we'd come downwind, turn finals, landed. And then uh, we had to, the, the way the airfield is laid out, we end up backtracking on the runway. There's, there isn't a taxiway that you can go to the end that'll take us back to where the, um, the fighters are based. So you end up backtracking. So requested backtrack, yep, yeah, clear. And then the air crew guy in the tower, came on and said, well, Roy, was that your 3,000 hours? And I went, yeah, affirmative. He goes, congratulations. And I thought, hmm, I might have got this. Nobody's shouting at me. Yeah. Uh, and then a taxi then on the squadron frequency uh, spoke to the, the, the ops clerk and said, we're taxiing back in serviceable. And he says, yeah, you're going back to Housie too. And by the way, you've got some tidying up to do. And I went, oh, shh. Yeah. Okay. So what had happened? First off, there was a boom that hit the tower. Oh. Air traffic. The windows apparently flexed in and out, and wow. the air traffickers looked round to the guy, the air crew guy, um, as a bit like cricketers appealing for LBW. They went boom, and he went, nah, that wasn't a boom. Right. So they went, oh, okay, fair enough. Um, what had happened when I went over the squadron buildings was that they're all porta cabin type affairs, they're all fairly yeah. flexible, as they all did flex. And all the plastic covers on the fluorescent tube lights in the ceiling all fell out. And of course, there's been months and months of moths and dead wasps and stuff all over the floor. (laughs) So that was the clearing up bit. And at the end, I thought, well, okay, that's fair enough. I can do that. Yeah, what became apparent later on, and this was bad, was that the boom, which wasn't a boom, according to uh, as ruled air traffic, actually went in the doors of the fire section, which is underneath the tower, and knocked the space heating system off. Now, the space space heating was metal pipes that carried hot water, and they were on hangers, metal hangers, that just above the, or just hanging down from the ceiling, just to provide some sort of heating for the fire engines. Well, the the clamps weren't very strong, had broken, Pipe had come down, fractured. There's hot water going everywhere. It hit one of the fire engines. So, uh, formal letter of apology to the fire master, and uh, yeah, that's that's one that I wasn't proud of. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that's I didn't come in as fast ever again after. after. <laughs> I can imagine. I can imagine. 